This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, there would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here. We would be talking about a one-round fight, because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab, the head movement. It's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle. He's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people true. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, New Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, awesome. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it fun. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range.
strike. Blocks that strike. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Straight punch land. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't too many moves. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, if you land one, that's going to shut everything down. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Nice strike. Right hand on the counter. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Right punches there. There's the kick, it's blocked. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, beautiful hook. Trying to kick the leg out. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Time is perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges oh, by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last flurry. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. A good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Nice. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. 
Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Punch is blocked. Oh, and he caught the kick. What a punch. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. So pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws. Oh, oh, the top. This fight's gonna be over. This. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Beautiful punch. He's going after the head. the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Over and over, he's landing on big body kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Still nice body for the play. And they separate. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That's a big strike right there. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to count after blocking shots. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in... Oh. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his hip. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, huge block. 15 seconds. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet. 
that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Good punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Just unable to the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Throws the right hand there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Just over three minutes to go now. Big punch land. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh, man. That, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's side. Beats his leg up. Nice defense there. Huge block. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Punch over the top. He has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. <laughs> Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Whip his hip into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful strike. Right idea, wrong execution. The counter right is no good. 30 seconds now to go in the round. a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. What a round! 
Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be able to beat right now. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, he's got his back now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Right hand is true. Able to check that kick as well. Just over three minutes now to go. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Goes to the body with the knee. Single collar tie now. And both guys really throwing with authority. Can't take many of those, you better check. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Just over two minutes now to go. Good stick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Nice leg kick. Not there. Big kick land. Big power shot there. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Big body slam. Ooh, what a punch. Liver Looked kick. like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. the right hand. Oh! oh, that's a nice strike. Some nice back and forth action here. 
Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He's a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Beautiful kick. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him. What a performance. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here too. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly gonna enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes too with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party time. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. I want ready for this, I need me but now I am. I get God one minute.